What's up guys, this video is all about the Asus RT-AC 5388U, which are two of their top of the line wireless routers. Now before we get any further, my name's Caleb, I'm the host of this channel, Reality Check, and we do tech and gaming focused reviews. If you've never seen one of our videos before, hit that subscribe button. If you've seen them before, hit the like, and all of you, please hit that little bell icon so you can get notified when we upload new videos. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So today's video is all about the RT-AC 5300 and the RT-AC 88U. And as I said before, these are top of the line wireless routers. So they, their, their intention here is to provide you with the fastest possible Wi-Fi speeds and also the best network coverage that you can in the house. But they also have a whole lot of features packed on top of that. So let's talk about those in a little bit more detail. Both of them are 802.11 AC compatible wireless routers, which means it's the latest Wi-Fi tech and it's gonna give you the best possible speeds out there that you can get currently. The 5300 offers you speeds of up to 5,334 megabits per second, and the 88U gives you speeds of up to 3,167 megabits per second. The most noticeable difference between the two of these routers is that the 5300 is tri-band and the 88U is dual band. Now, this gives you a certain advantage because a lot more devices are becoming five gigahertz enabled. So if you have a lot of devices working on your network, having the extra channel is going to provide you with more space so that you can kind of free up some of that traffic and it's eventually just gonna give you better speeds over Another thing that's cool about this third secondary 5 gigahertz channel is that it prioritizes 4K streaming and gaming content. So anytime there's multiple devices connected and some of them are gaming and some of them aren't, they're going to get priority with their own bandwidth, which is pretty cool. Both of them are WT fast enabled, which is going to give you a premium prioritized connection for all your gaming streams. They also both feature QoS, which prioritizes your gaming connections over other types of data. They also both have AI protection with Trend Micro, which is top grade network security with parental controls and privacy protection features. Lastly, you can control your networks through the Asus router app on both of these routers. And it's just really cool, it's really intuitive, and you don't necessarily need to be connected to a desktop or a laptop in order to monitor your network. Now, both of these routers offer you a whole host of other features beyond what I've already mentioned, but I've just pointed out the most relevant ones in terms of network security and functionality. But Asus has also just released a brand new firmware update for some of their compatible routers called AI Mesh. And this is really, really cool because it turns them into a mesh networking system. But I don't really understand the ins and outs of that, so let's head over to Caleb's classroom and maybe he can explain it to you. Welcome to Caleb's Classroom. I'm quickly going to explain to you what mesh networking technology is and what are some of the advantages of using a system like that is over a more outdated system like repeaters or extenders. So typically speaking, if you were having Wi-Fi signal issues in your house, let's say you had your router set up dead center, but you were getting signal connection issues in your bathroom, in your bedroom, in your garage, then what you would do is set up repeaters or extenders close to these locations, which essentially copy the original broadcasting signal, weaken it, and then rebroadcast it. So to give you better access to your internet across your entire house. But now the problem with this is, instead of having one SSID or network name, you would have to set up multiple SSIDs or network names and then connect to the most relevant one for the best signal strength. So it's an entirely manual process. It is cheap and cost effective, but it can be a bit cumbersome. So that's why you might wanna move over to something like a mesh networking system, because the way this works is, let's say you have your central router set up over there, dead center in your house, then you would set up nodes in, let's say, your bedroom, your bathroom, Room, your garage and your office and they would all communicate with the central hub to give you the best connection strength possible so you're having consistent and constant wireless communication and connection throughout your entire house without having to manually switch so as I said these would all have their own individual network names this would be unified under one SSID so you could have control over the entire system through one network now, people would typically choose this because it's more cost effective. All you have to do is buy a repeat or extender, add it to your existing modem, and then you have an extension of your wireless signal. Whereas with the mesh networking system, you would have to buy an entirely new networking system, which can be very costly, and then have to set that up and replace it. But what Asus has done is they provided a firmware update for some of their compatible routers, which allow you to create your own mesh networking system, and it's entirely for free. All you need is two Asus routers, and you can make it happen. And that's pretty dope. Caleb, out! Oh. So that is mesh networking. Clearly it is awesome, but now the question still remains, who is this stuff for? Who is this tech for? Well, the firmware update is entirely free. So if you have these Asus routers already, then it's not gonna cost you a damn thing and it's updated tech and it works really well. So it's definitely for you if you have the Asus routers to make it work. Now, if you are looking for incredibly high performance routers, then you better have the cash to throw around because the AC5300 comes in at 5,400 Rand and the 88U is 4,400 Rand. Now that's not cheap, 
but they definitely have the features to back up that price tag. Also, you have that AI mesh firmware update entirely for free, so you're getting those high performance routers and the possibility of making them a mesh networking system at the same time. Now, if you wanted to start somewhere on the lower end of the spectrum, you could get yourself two RTAC 86Us for two and a half K a pop, which is substantially cheaper than the more high end models and still have a mesh networking system for yourself. But the question you need to ask yourself now is, does this mesh networking system suit my scenario and my environment? Like if you're a small to medium scale business and you have a lot of people who need constant and consistent wireless connection, then a mesh networking system is probably for you. If you have lots of kids or you have a lot of people over to your house who are constantly using the wireless network for gaming and 4K media consumption, then this is probably for you but if you just need to make a small extension to your wireless range then you'll probably be better off with an extender or repeater unless you already have two asus routers in which case it's a free upgrade and there is no reason why you shouldn't take it Anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this installment of Reality Check. Let me know what you think about the RTAC88U and the RTAC5300 in the comment section below. Also, let me know what kind of networking system are you running at your house? Because I'm all up to date on it now. I know all the things, bro. So, like, are you running a mesh network? Do you have different access points? Are you using repeaters extended? What's your story? Let's talk about it. Let's discuss. Don't forget to hit like. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next week for another installment of Reality Check. Peace!